Hello, I'm Andy Mock, the Lynx Serverline Senior Project Manager. This video is the first in a series of videos and will provide an overview of the proposed Lynx Serverline Lightroom project. We are currently in the transportation planning or pre-project development phase of work, and we are conducting early scoping in coordination with the Federal Transit Administration, referred to as FTA. We will discuss more about early scoping later on, as well as provide you with an update on progress since March of 2020, and explain how you can provide input. I'd like to introduce you to our project team. First, leading the Link Serverline Light Rail project is myself and Jenna Nichols, the Deputy Project Manager. Ajanel Poole is the CATS Public and Community Relations Specialist dedicated to the project. The Link Serverline Light Rail is part of a larger community program, which includes related but separate studies. The Transit Development Study, referred to as TOD, as well as a rail trail study. John Howard is the project manager for the TOD study, and Jason Lawrence is the project manager for the rail trail project study. There will be more to come on the TOD and rail trail planning in the future, but today, as a part of early scoping, we are focused on the light rail project. Now that you've met the team, let's talk about the actual Link Silverline light rail project. The Link Silverline is a proposed 26 mile light rail project from the city of Belmont through Center City Charlotte and the town of Matthews with a potential extension into Union County. We are growing as a region and coordination is key. Throughout the project we will coordinate efforts with several other programs, agencies, and projects. Currently CATS and FTA are conducting early scoping. Yes, we recognize it's a very technical term, but essentially it means that we are seeking your feedback on the ongoing planning analysis to better define the project before entering project development in the National Environmental Policy Act, referred to as NEPA. Let's talk about how we got to this point. Rapid Transit has been discussed in Charlotte for decades. In 1998, the City of Charlotte prepared the 2025 Integrated Transit Land Use Plan, which proposed using rapid transit to support focusing future growth in Charlotte's key centers and corridors. The West Corridor along Wilkinson Boulevard and the Southeast Corridor along Independence Boulevard were two of the identified corridors. Additional planning efforts have occurred and the plan is now referred to as the 2030 Transit System Plan. In 2016, CATS completed the Southeast Corridor Transit Study, which considered various transit technologies and alignments. The study included a detailed technical evaluation and extensive public and stakeholder engagement. Our policy board, referred to as the Metropolitan Transit Commission, or MTC, adopted an LPA, short for Locally Preferred Alternative, for a light rail project in the 13-mile southeast corridor from Center City, Charlotte, to the Mecklenburg and Union County border. More recently, CATS completed the Link System Update, which studied various technologies and alignment alternatives for the West Corridor and Center City, Charlotte. In February 2019, the MTC adopted a light rail LPA for the West Corridor and combined it with the Southeast Corridor LPA to make one continuous 26 mile light rail corridor from Belmont to Matthews with a potential extension into Union County known as the Link Silver Line. Now we are assessing new opportunities and risks in order to refine the LPA and help determine the alignment and options that may be carried forward into environmental review under NEPA. During the early scoping process, we start to develop the purpose and need statement, which is consistent with previously identified public and stakeholder goals. The purpose and need statement defines the fundamental reason why the project is being proposed, and it's the foundation for the environmental review process. The needs are the why the proposed action is needed, and the purpose is the what CATS intends to accomplish. The purpose and need will be refined during planning and through environmental review with additional input from the public, stakeholders, and regulatory agencies. This screen shows identified preliminary transportation needs in the Link Silver Line corridor. The preliminary purpose of the Link Silver Line project is to provide high capacity transit service and dedicated right of way along identified roadways that address the desired transportation outcome shown on the screen. The full preliminary purpose and needs statement is available in the online open house. Let us know if you have any comments in the online survey, also available in the online open house. You may be asking yourself, why are we refining the alignment if it was adopted by the MTC, the CATS Policy Board? Although some of the alignment was adopted in 2019, the Southeast Quarter was adopted in 2016. 
Just think about how much of our infrastructure changed in the region over the last four years. In that time, a lot of construction has occurred. We opened the Lynx Blue Line extension and have learned so much that we can bring to this project. Additionally, we will be conducting additional engineering and environmental evaluations to learn more about the corridor and continue asking for your input. Now that you know why we are looking at refinements, let's talk about the decision-making process. We want to maximize the benefits of the proposed project while minimizing the risks. We're evaluating many factors as we refine the LPA, again, the locally preferred alternative, including public input, design constraints, environmental considerations, a quality rider experience, coordination with other projects, and land use surrounding the potential stations. We have developed several alignment refinement options for your review. These options may enhance benefits or address risks associated with the LPA. However, the alignment options also have their own pros and cons, as described in the interactive comment map on the online open house. As referenced earlier, we have been and will continue to think about environmental resources as we refine the LPA and move into environmental review under NEPA. We are looking for your feedback on the environmental considerations that we have identified and whether there are more to consider. Overall, we're asking you to provide input on a number of critical factors. Since the corridor is quite long, at approximately 26 miles, we have broken it up into six focus areas. You can get more detailed information about the alignment options within each focus area by using the interactive comment map in the online open house. There are short videos that describe pros and cons of the alignment options for each focus area. Please review the videos at your convenience, available in the online open house from August 31st to October 14th. Once you review all the information, let us know what you think. There are a number of ways you can provide your input. Browse around the online open house to learn more about the project. Leave comments on the interactive comment map and take the public survey. We are hosting live virtual public meetings on September 15th, 16th, 17th, 22nd, 24th, and 29th at 5.30 p.m. Each of these meetings will include this general project overview, plus a more detailed discussion on one of the focus areas. Check the project website, ridetransit.org slash linksilverline, to learn more about how you can access the meetings and the focus areas that will be featured in each one. Additionally, you can request a virtual meeting with our team for your business or neighborhood group by contacting us via email at linksilverline at publicinput.com or the CATS customer service via phone at 704-336-RIDE. That's 704-336-7433. If you prefer to submit a hard copy of your comments, you can send a letter to CATS care of Agenel Pool at 600 East 4th Street, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28202. Public comments must be submitted by October 14th as we will conclude the early scoping period. The feedback we receive from you will help us make decisions as we move into next steps. In 2021, the team plans to have a refined LPA that we will present for adoption by the MTC and carry forward into the detailed NEPA environmental review process. Prior to adoption by the MTC, we will conduct another round of public meetings to share our recommendations. Depending on the public and agency input, there may be more than one option in certain locations. Thank you for joining us today, and thank you in advance for sharing your input with us. Your feedback will help to shape and create a light rail line that will serve our region for many generations to come.